My name is Erin McDonald, and today on the French Snoofy, I want to show you a quick and easy appetizer or entree for your guests. I love to entertain. I entertain at least twice a week, and I found a really pretty way to make shrimp even better than your typical shrimp that people always have at the party. This is really, really fun to make. So I have these nice uncooked prawns that are deveined. Uh, sometimes I do it myself, but that's another show. I had these done for me by my fishmonger, and so they're uncooked, they're a nice size, and I have some skewers. Now I'm gonna be doing these right away onto my little grill so I'm, I don't have the skewers soaked in water. If you're gonna put it on a barbecue, you do wanna put your skewers into water so that they don't burn. But first we're gonna get some seasoning onto the prawns and we need oil. So I'm using, as always, virgin olive oil, not extra get that a good amount because we don't want our little prawns or shrimp to be sticking to our grill, of course. And I have some za'atar. And za'atar is an Arabic spice blend of um, oregano, it has sesame seeds, it has all kinds of Arabic spices. And you might not be able to find za'atar, but that's okay, just use what you have in your kitchen and it'll be a fine blend. So I have some za'atar, we're gonna get that down. And I want my prawns to be really nice and seasoned, so I'm gonna be generous with my spices. Again, I have oregano, and I love oregano for any type of seasoning. Just dried oregano. Get a good pinch down. Nothing has to be perfect. You should have fun when you're in the kitchen. And if you don't, well, then do something else maybe, but try and have fun in the kitchen. And if you feel pressure, I always like to have a little glass of wine or maybe a beer just to take the tension off. Paprika, smoked paprika. I have some nice paprika down. And now I'm gonna get my hands into the, actually I'm gonna keep my hands clean this time, but I'm gonna use a spoon and just stir it up like so. Again, don't try and fuss too much with the prawns. Everything's gonna mix in. The ingredients will take care of themselves. It's gonna be so tasty. And I have a really nice avocado and cilantro sauce for dipping. It's gonna be delicious. Now, as I mentioned, I am not putting this in the refrigerator to marinate. You could put it in the refrigerator if you want to, but I'm not going to. So I'm gonna add lemon juice right now. If you want to put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes, you can, but just omit the lemon juice. The lemon juice will actually cook the prawns and we don't want that. We want our grill to cook the prawns. And now, without further ado, take your skewer. They're not soaked, as I said, because I'm putting them on my little grill. So, I like to start with the back. Take your skewer and go all the way around. Just pushing gently and it'll come out on the end just like that. When they grill up, you're gonna see it's really pretty. And it's another way that you can serve your shrimp or your prawns for a get together, an appetizer. Everyone can grab their own little prawn, just like so, and again, out through the end. I'm gonna do one more. These are gonna cook really, really fast, like a minute. And while they're going, I'm gonna tell you how I made the beautiful avocado and coriander cilantro dip. So now I'm gonna open up the grill. I love these little grills. They're perfect, especially for making sandwiches. My little brother is gonna be going to university soon and I'm buying him one of these as a little gift because they're perfect <laughs> for everything. And just get them down. They already have some oils. Just down you can hear it sizzling like I said it's gonna take a minute and I'm gonna take the sticks and actually put the sticks out on the end my little skewers and now I'm gonna close the lid and they will be done in no time at all and so I have a beautiful avocado and cilantro dip and this is how I made it I put it in my Kenwood blender with some avocado of course one whole avocado two cloves of garlic, a little pinch of salt, one green chili pepper, and a big bunch of cilantro. And I didn't even take the stems off. I just threw it all into the mix, 
put the top on and blended it. And if it's too thick, you can use a little bit of milk to thin it out. And this is the end result. It tastes like the coriander. It's got the real creaminess of the avocado and it's gonna go perfect with these little shrimps. Okay, and I'm just gonna get my board back and let's take a look and see how they're doing. Yeah, that's perfect. They are done. Like, I'm just gonna turn them once more and let them go for another 10 seconds. And I'm just gonna taste this for seasoning and see if it's perfect. I know it is. Mm. Oh my gosh, that avocado is delicious and creamy and I cannot wait to try one of these. Let's see. Perfect. Look at that color. And they're still really soft and juicy. You don't want to overcook the prawns so that they taste like rubber. It will not be any good. So there you have it. Look how cute they are. I really hope that you give it a try and don't be scared to try the dressing as well. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>